Okay, so this is scenario number six. Uh, we're gonna approach this just like we would on the exam, of course. And let's go ahead and start started with the scenario. All right, to maintain confidentiality and integrity of information systems, certificates need admin, the certificates need admin to manage them from a security standpoint, okay? It's kind of poor grammar. Additionally, admin needs to migrate certificate issues to ensure availability for the users in the organization. As a system administrator, you are regularly approached by users who are unable to accomplish their tasks due to these certificate issues. To help them resolve such issues, you need to understand the user's comments and your organization's certificate information, identify the issue, and define a solution. This doesn't tell us anything, so this is completely useless, and it's not really well written, so let's just close that. Uh, junior pen tester. I'm trying to browse this website using an IP address. When I do, my browser displays a certificate error. What's wrong? This doesn't need to be a junior pen tester, I don't think. I'm very suspicious of this question already from what I've seen so far. It's, this is looking like one of those low quality questions, but let's go ahead and roll through it. Okay, likely issue. Uh, this is the website, HTTPS. So we're, it's a secure website. Of course, we're using certificates, so all of these should be using HTTPS. www.comptia.org. She's trying to access it using an IP address. Let's see what the issues are. Client missing chain of trust. Doesn't say anything about that. Cert is configured with a fully qualified domain name, FQDN. That's possible. The client is incapable of SSL. It's unlikely. The server is inoperable. If the server is inoperable, we wouldn't get a certificate error. The system is compromised with malware. I mean, that's, you know, that's always a possibility. Is that gonna be the most correct answer? Okay, so if we were trying to browse the website and the website was down, we wouldn't get a certificate error. We would get like a 404 error. So this is not correct, I don't think. Uh, if the client was capable of SSL, I mean, if they were incapable of SSL, we wouldn't get a certificate error. So that's not correct. The cert is configured with a fully qualified domain name. I mean, I think this is the one that's correct because if they're trying to connect with an IP, the only thing that relates to a fully qualified domain name uh, would be, you know, if you're trying to connect with an IP, a fully qualified domain name would be the full domain name for comptia.org. So if you try, if you type in that domain name, that's where the, the certificate would work when that domain name is being used, not necessarily when the IP address is being used. So I think that is, that is what we're gonna pick here. And our solution, connect using, well, this is connecting using the IP address, so our solution would be connecting using the domain name, but let's read the next of these. Connect via HTTP, that doesn't make sense for using certificates. Install a root CA G2 certificate. We have a certificate, it's just we're getting an error with it. So I don't think these are correct and restart computer. I mean, you should always restart the computer first. So I can't say that that's a wrong answer, but the best answer is probably connect using the, uh, the domain name here. So this one's kind of straightforward. They're connected with an IP, it won't work, they get an error. So maybe the certificate is configured for a fully qualified domain name, and then you would connect using that domain name. Makes sense. Okay, this one looks a little more involved. Program manager, hey, hey program manager. Hey, I know my certificate is configured correctly, so are you saying my issue may be client related? That's a pretty knowledgeable program manager. Uh, Let's see. So here's the website. Okay, okay, we can click on this. GoDaddy Root Certificate Authority G2. GoDaddy Secure Certificate Authority G2. Uh, Asterisk.comptia.org. Okay, so this is gonna be all the subdomains included. Anything related to comptia.org would be included in that, that asterisk. So this is the certificate issued by GoDaddy Secure Certificate Authority. Expires Tuesday, August 11th, 2020. Well, there you go. Certificate's invalid. It's out of date. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> these are all written in the past, these scenarios. Uh, daylight time. Certificate is valid. Okay, so certificate's valid. Of course, it would say that here. Now, that's on the server side. This is the server. 
is this is the website. So that represents the server. And this is the client machine service. So I know my certificate is configured correctly. Are you saying the issue may be client related? We don't really know if this program manager is trying to connect to the website or if this program manager is involved with the server. I don't really think this helps us. It's kind of just confusing the whole issue. Let's take a look at the client machine certs. I think I have an idea what we're getting at here. Let's take a look for this. We're gonna look for this certificate here. Do we see a GoDaddy certificate? GeoTrust, 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 global chamber sign, global sign, global sign root. Can I scroll? No. Okay, so there's no GoDaddy certificate here. So we don't have a certificate on the, cl on the uh, client machine. So what's the issue? Client missing train of trust. Yeah, that, that's probably it. Client cert is configured as full. That's just the answer for this one. Client is incapable of SSL. That's, I mean, it has other certifications. That's absolutely not right. Server is inoperable. Doesn't say anything about that. The system is compromised with malware. I mean, that's always a possibility, but no, I think it's probably the client is missing a chain of trust. It's missing a certificate. So we need to install certificates. So we should see these solutions here. Okay, yeah. Install root ka g2 cert and install. Yeah, we need that. We need the root certificate in the browse in the client's root certificate or in the client's browser's root certificate store. If they're using the browser in their root certificate store, they need that root certificate. And then we need a secure ka g2 cert. We need this cert on the client machine. That's basically what we're saying here. I'm pretty sure these are all right. I'd be surprised if we got this wrong. Yeah, we're good. Okay, let's just read what they have to say. I think this is a pretty straightforward one. It's a lot easier than the other one. Uh, issues may arise from the way that a certificate gets configured and how the client is using it, such as a mismatch between certificates configured to use an FQDN and the client connecting via IP address. In this case, the most natural solution is to have the client join via FQDN. Yep. Because certificates typically get issued to an FQDN, not an IP address. Right. Uh, it gives us another paragraph. I don't think we need another paragraph. Let's just skim this one. Client connives tries to connect to the IP address. They receive the error. It would look like this. Uh, this IP uses invalid security certificate. Certificate is only valid for the following names. CompTIA.org, www.comptia.org. Right. Client receives an error like that. It's evidence that the certificate issued to the domain and the user needs to connect using the full domain. Yep. <laughs> and it says that uh, most domains will have several machines with different IP addresses hosting that uh, domain name, you know, for load balancing purposes. Okay. Yeah, so domains are kept more static than IP addresses. Sometimes. All right, also one of the most common frustrating issues is certificates occurs when a certificate configures correctly, but the server rejects it, all due to the client missing the root and intermediate certificate authority certificates. And that's what happened in the second one. Uh, in this case, the domain also has certificates GoDaddy root certificate authority and GoDaddy certificate authority G2. Yeah, these PBQs here are from the CompTIA Learn Lab environment. Okay. To be able to connect to the domain securely is necessary to install both of those certs. Yep, that's true, which is exactly what we went through here. Okay, so that was, that was pretty straightforward. Any questions on that one? Okay, great job. I'm glad this was helpful.